This video is sponsored by Linode. Get your very own Linux server in the cloud and a $100 six day credit down below. AI artificial intelligence is everywhere and it's ruining some things for me. This is the GitHub trending page. This is where I used to go to find really cool graphical applications to try out and show you guys. Unfortunately, since the AI boom, this has been absolutely flooded with that, making it difficult to find some cool things like I used to. Stable Diffusion, bunch of Python stuff, Keep Jet GDP, Mini GPT, GPT-4 free, Health GDP, just, it's getting just a little ridiculous in my opinion, but it's super popular. So I figured I'd show you guys a cool little utility called T GDP or Terminal GDP or GPT, sorry. It is a simple script that you can download and then run in your terminal and ask it some pretty basic questions. So here, I kind of was playing around with it. I installed it. Installing it's really easy when you download the actual GitHub repository. We have an install script right here. You can kind of run through it and see exactly what it is going to be doing. And when it does install, we can kind of go up and see in my logs here. It will just say installed successfully, run tgtp-h to get started. And if you run dash H, it just shows you how to use it. You put TGDP in quotes. So if I do TGPT, I quote something and let's say gen generate a hello world program in Python, something pretty simple. Hit enter. It's going to load and then it should just spit that out and do it for us. Just like we would in a web browser you can see python hello world and now one thing i'm curious about in the actual chat gdp you can kind of work off of things you previously said so let's see if it kind of has that capability so now add a additional line of text to print the current python version let's see if it can do that so it doesn't look like it can kind of interact with your previous inputs and outputs kind of like it does within the actual web browser version, but you can see it does say, sure, here's the code you can use to print Python version. It didn't add it to the hello world like I would have preferred, but being able to use it is kind of cool just in your terminal real quick, especially if you just need to ask it a question real quick. For example, what is Docker? Something I've been really learning and getting into. Gonna let it load real quick. And then there we go. Docker is a popular platform that allows developers to build, deploy, and run applications and containers, blah, 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 blah. Then what are the steps for installing Docker in Fedora? All right, so here is our output. We update our system, install the required packages, add the repository, get the, get the packages, enable the service and verify that it is installed. So let, let's see if we can do something a little more complex. Let's, because it knows the steps to install Docker. So let's say generate a bash script to install Docker in Fedora. So let's see if it can actually do that for us because that'd be a little easier than copying and pasting all those various commands. What would be really cool is if we can say, save this bash script here, but based on our previous inputs, it probably doesn't have that capability. All right, so here's our script. So bash bash install, and it's going through all the same things that it put earlier. Make sure it's executable. So it's giving us instructions too. So let's actually just copy paste this and see if it works. So I'm actually gonna open up a new tab here. We're in here, so I'm gonna just call this uh, nano docker install.sh paste in the script and if i go over here this is our docker install like it said let's make sure it can execute as a program and if we go down run it using the dot forward slash so it's saying doing it without sudo let's see if that is true let's hit enter oh oh not ssh yeah our script's not working unfortunately i don't know enough about bash scripting to tell you exactly what's wrong with it but you can see what it is. You might be able to point that out in the comments down below. I know with at least the online version, I could then argue with it until it didn't work and then it will try again. In this one, I'm uh, I'm pretty sure I can't do that. Let's test. That script didn't work. Ah, uh, see, I apologize for the inconvenience. Please provide information when I wish it would be up to pull over here. But the thing is, this is in version one. So it may get better. And the reason why I'm covering this one, there's a few different of these like terminal applications. This one doesn't require the uh, API keys. So that alone might be kind of limiting some of the functionality, but I'd rather have uh, some limited functions and have to go and 
fight and get an API key. So with that, we're gonna end off with asking it a simple question. Why should I use Linode? Linode is an excellent choice for your hosting needs. First, they offer a wide range of server configuration options, a reliable network, good customer service, competitive pricing, and they have that one click installer and all that. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope you enjoy playing around with this program if you prefer to do this kind of locally on your terminal. I'm pretty sure it's still reaching out to the internet, but that's besides the point. With all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.